victories against one defeat de la Ciudad de México. Here, just trying to land something in there. Look for, again, look for that jab. He loves to put that jab in there. Has a lot of power in it. He likes to set it up. Good inside kick. Nettles in it. Check that one. He's got a first round guillotine choke last July against Ulysses Molina. Prior to that, went to decision with David Selner. That was in June, so this is his third fight this year. Fought three times in 2021. One of those fights that was a defeat, but it was a doctor stoppage. I got a corner is telling Wild Boy, hey, calm down, relax. Take it easy. Get a little, a little calmer there. He, right from the start, he was just pushing in, being the aggressor. But that's his style, though. That's that's what he likes to do, especially if, if, if he gets in the pocket and he closes that distance. I mean, he loves to trade. He's not going to hold back. Yeah, he looks good in the striking, which is something that Cisneros thought wasn't going to happen, but he's got the upper hand thus far. Cisneros, though, he, he has been able to cut the corners, and until now, he's letting get some combinations. And look at that body. Vizcano's been working that body. Look at that, the side left rib area of Cisneros. It's a little bruised up because of the kicks. And on the abdominal area, it's a little bruised up because of the shot of Wild Boy. Now, this is where Wild Boy likes it. He likes it in the ground, but sort of Cisneros. So this is where it gets pretty interesting. Now he gets hemmed in there under the wraps. He's got him looking very comfortable on the feet, looking very comfortable in the guard of Cisneros. It's going to come down who has that better wrestling or transition on the ground game. And we've got to reiterate because we saw Cisneros and he looked, he looked sluggish against Sean Mora, but prior to that, four submission victories in a row. All ending in the first round. Kimura, armbar, Kimura and three armbar victories. And look how Cisneros is setting up for something here. Look at it, that, that left hand, the left arm. Trying to grab it. Also landing in some elbows for this position. Wild Boy, though, doing quite well. Wild Boy. Hey. Come out with conviction. Got a little cut though on his uh, right eyebrow. Cisneros laboring hard again. You can see the blood of Vizcada on the body of Cisneros who gets to his feet. Gets in that clinch. Clinch the same word in English and Spanish as we just heard. <laughs> Vizcada looks great. I mean, this is a different fighter than we saw in 2020, 2019. I remember seeing him lose.
like a guy who's come up from double-A into the major leagues. Everything looks a little faster, everything looks a little quicker, and well, he can't keep pace. I I'm sure Wild Boys camp took a look at that video of Cisneros and Mora. And it comes down to this, you know, working from the guard, positioning those hips, making it very difficult for Cisneros to get out of this, but hitting him, putting all that body weight. Now, Cisneros is very dangerous on the ground, too. He does have several victories by way of submission. But Wild Boy, very smart on playing that body weight, positioning his head, not allowing him to grab any arms to get a submission. See, now he's pushing him now towards closer to the, to the Jaula. Well, good way, good way for Cisneros taking it here to the, moving away from the like, Jaula. Alan LaBelle is giving a warning to Cisneros not to put the toes on the Hala or he will remove a point. He doesn't want that at this, at this point right now in this fight. Again, Cisneros in his guard. It's been that way pretty much for the duration of this fight. Cisneros, who uh, wanted to become a fighter, wanted to be adept in something, trains with Mexican pride. Uh, under Rodrigo Casuala Vargas, fought at UFC. In the small town of Conala in Chiapas. See, like I see Cisneros just positioning himself to get the fight to the feet. There's that wizard. And he, you hear the corner there, take up, pop up that hip. So he could take Wild Boy out. But Wild Boy playing it very well, holding on to his body. Now he may have the good chance that you yeah, gonna... he may have to crank something. I mean, he's... And he may make up for a guillotine there. At one point, he had a good... Oh, there it is. Takes the back. around to the back. B. Scott has been one step ahead in everything. As you can see, that scratch... Because he's so he's so aggressive. Sometimes they you even puzzle what move he's gonna make. And since then, it's pretty much has been shut down, Max. Yeah, he piece. hasn't he hasn't been able to do anything. He's got who we asked him about where was the turn in form. He goes, I look at mistakes, I look at details. I don't want to know a lot about the opponent. I know he is hard. He'll come out aggressive, but I will dominate completely, and he has. You know, Cisneros said that he's been working a lot on his striking combinations, but we haven't seen much of it. And, and credit goes to Wild Boy's tempo. He moves so fast, so quick, I'm moving it forward, not allowing Cisneros. It's more like Cisneros just 
Look at deer in the headlights. Yeah. 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 Is this better? Yeah. He's taking the advantage. He's the one that, that's ahead of this. He's doing what Biscata did to him in the first round, getting that head right under his chin up against La Jaula. He's flipping the page. Separates from Alan Abeles. Cisneros back to the drawing board. See how Wild Point oh, wastes caught no time. He and goes then, right at him. That was crazy, Rolo, because Cisneros wasn't even ready for it. <laughs> and why would you not be? Protect yourself at all times. Look at the open scoring there, Max. Second round going to Wild Boy again. Big knees, inside, outside, up, a down, around. He may switch levels here. It's a good opportunity for him. And you hear Cisneros, position yourself. We try to take it down, but... Now, Get wow. The back. Look at this. Cisneros turn big time. Maybe Cisneros might pull something out the hat. We've seen it once tonight. Shaheen Santana coming back and submitting. Pato Martinez with 13 seconds oh, to go in the third round. Now he drops the hip. Grab something here. Yeah, he, he's he, really cranking here. He's got a big trouble. It's underneath the chin. He's got us pushing. Wild boy. Wild wow, boy's pushing up that elbow. It's still underneath that. It's still underneath. He's he not blocking it off. Up. Well, Mexicali's been in a, a, a incredible, an incredible destination. We actually had some live events down there, and it's gotten away, but now Ramon Vizcada is bringing Sexy back in Mexicali, and it looks like we're going to hear Lupe Contreras say, Puro Chicali, one more time. Ramon Vizcada. A favor del ganador, por decisión unánime, in favor of the winner, by way of unanimous decision. Puro Chicali and Wild Boy Ramon Vizcarra. Puro Chicali. <laughs>